got our little green tubes and we're inserting them in here so that our alignment will be not in a big sloppy 5 8 inch hole but in a tight uh, 3 8 inch hole. So we push, push two through here, maybe three. If we can push three through, we're good. See, there we go. Now we got a tube here, a tube here, and a tube here. We pushed them through. And honey, this one needs to be pushed more. So you have to push them inside. It's got to come more. Well, here, put a tube on this side then. There. There. Okay, yeah, because these are one half inch short. So you put three in and you're one inch, basically one inch short here. So uh, these are good to go and we got to do these ones now. These take longer tubes on here. This side here takes longer tubes because it's actually two, three, two, three, three two by fours thick solid here and then the one removable here. So we got to have a long tube for the, the three two by fours. That's uh, four and a half inches long, roughly four. I'll make it four because it's a quarter inch on each end. So here, these are the roughly four inch tubes. Stick them in here, like that, and that goes through the three. You got to put one on that side. Oh, well, I, I put it on the other one. I didn't have to put it on that one. We already did that one. There we go. Okay. Okay. We'll put this one in here. You, you, yeah, you got to come in from the back of these, which is hard because the step is backing up the back of these so so between here you got this much space between here and a two by four thickness here to operate going back into here so anyway we'll do that and we'll be back with my paradise on the tiny island bye for now yeah baby three will become one okay, what we got we got this 65 inch uh, piece of 3 16 stainless steel, but the way we got to slide it in is here. We're, we're making it between these two these two holes here, and we got to slide it in here, slide it in through that slot all the way across to that side. And then all the way across. Here. And that should end at the center. Whoa, that's a little short, honey. This one's short. Why is this one short? About right. Okay, well that's about right. So now we have to we got bolts coming from this side. Here, we've already drilled out this this piece here and we got the bolts going smoothly through here so once we get this piece over here centered then we uh, stick a pencil through here and then we mark that side where the hole is on each one of these we pull out each bolt and they put the pencil in there and mark the, the inside and that's where we drill it so that's what we're doing now. We just have to align it and then clamp it. We got a clamp over here, one of these little hand clamps, carpenter's clamps. So you pull this thing here and it closes down on it. So that's what we're using to clamp all this down. We got our lines drawn where it's centered. We got our left and right lines drawn. And we'll do that on this one too, the same thing on this one. So anyway. We're going to do that now, and then we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. All right, we got everything kind of clamped and lined up. This is the one that we've already drilled the holes in, and we got the bolts going all the way through to here. And then this is the the new one that we're uh, making the going to be drilling these bolt holes. So to get it aligned, we've got everything here lined up. All these surfaces all level here. 
Uh, we got our left and right lined up here. Got the holes, so the bolts just slide right through. And you can hear it hitting the other side. So what I do, I, after we get it all lined up, I take that bolt out, and then you have to have a pencil, of course, that's long enough to go through there here to the other side. Then I put this pencil in the hole and wiggle it around, and that makes the target for the drill on the inside of that other one. And I put this back just so things don't get ah. out of. Out of alignment. Yeah, Antonio, let's go. Uh, the same thing here. Wiggle it around and draw like a little black dot. Drawing a black dot on the inside of that one. You can't see it obviously because you won't see it until you take it out. And then put this one back. And same song. Fourth verse. Do the exact same thing all the way across here so that they're marked really well. The other thing that we do, because here's a hole too, so we got to go through here and mark this one. And this one's a little bit wigglier because we don't have the we don't have we don't have the the stainless steel plate on here yet, so we gotta we'll have to drill that. And so we may have a little sloppy or hole here that we have to deal with, and then we got another hole. This one, so right here. This one, see, we've got two holes. This is for the piece of wood that goes over to that hole there, and the piece of stainless steel. And then this one, here's so this. And again, this pencil is a little bit short for this. Really so, hopefully, we get a good mark, a good, accurate mark here. And we also have our little green uh, spacers in here. I don't know if you can see the little green spacer there, but see that green. Yeah, that's our spacer and the liner. We, we're going to epoxy that green uh, rubber plastic whatever tube in there to keep the inside of the wood uh, dry. We'll fill that with epoxy and then slide that in and then epoxy seal this end and the, the, and the other side also. And then we take a, a tree branch, a small tree branch, the exact size of this hole and then we shove it through there and push all the epoxy out of the hole. And then we're done. And we do that to every one of these uh, holes here all the way across here. So anyway, everything should be marked. And ready to go. So we'll see what our marks look like. I'm going to pop this thing loose right here. This little clamp. There we go. Came loose. Now I'm going to slide this stainless steel out of here. Normally, in, when we're in the boat, we'll just slide it through there, but we've got to bring it out here. And if we did good, you see the little black dots there? You see the black dots? That's the pencil mark. These are the drill holes here. See? That's where I drill a hole. 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 And that's where I drill a hole. Now, for some reason, even though these are marked and everything should be perfect, they're still off a little bit. So I've got like a little carbide cutter bit that I have to, once we drill all these holes, exactly where they're at. I've been drill, drilling them exactly like that. It's a perfect round target there. And I drill it right in the center. And the boat may be off a sixteenth of an inch to this side or the top or the bottom or this side. So then I have to get my carbide cut there and grind that little space out so that all the bolts slide through smoothly without any uh, problem because whenever we assemble this in the ocean we just want to slide bolts in and slide we don't be fighting them and all that stuff so anyway that's what we do and we're going to go drill the holes now and we have to use a uh, a cobalt a high speed steel cobalt not just high speed steel but a co cobalt it's a mixture of high speed steel and cobalt the only thing they can dr drill through this 316 stainless because this stuff is just tough and you got to go slow you have to drill slow like with a drill press but we don't have a drill press so i just have to get a i've got a heavy drill bit like a 5 8 inch uh chuck drill bit that i uh use to drill all these holes and it takes five minutes to drill a hole so it's not a quickie process but anyway 
we are going to do that and as you see we've already joined that one there so it's all got it's all stainless steel we've already made this one here this one here of course and now we're on our last one so this is the last one that we got to drill holes in and slide in and make sure that the bolts just slide in and out so when we assemble or disassemble these it's a smooth uh, process so we will be back with more drilling holes in hard tough 316 stainless steel hey everybody now. we have got all of our cross brace big pieces done all the stainless steel all the mahogany wood and all that everything's drilled out uh we still need to epoxy the little green inserts in these things here uh, and we're right now we're drilling these little guys here and man this stuff is a bear to drill through this 316 stain handless it just tears up a cobalt drill bit you can drill just a few holes and the bits dull uh but yeah this piece here goes on this side see like there where the bolt goes through these eight inch ones we're gonna have to cut in half because that back part you see the inside is split so one goes there and one goes there on the back back side the the big long stainless steel strip goes on th this side and towards the center of the boat all the way across over to the middle of there so that's what we're doing today we've got a technique we use we got a quarter inch cobalt bit that we bought at uh, a hardware store uh, and it seems to hold the edge better than these other ones and it was like 160 pesos so that wasn't too bad because the three eighths cobalt bits we're buying are 750 pesos German they're both German this is a Bosch by the way so the Bosch is holding up better than this other brand of German cobalt bit is but the Bosch seems to hold up pretty good I mean we got all the big stuff drilled with this one but we got two of these actually so what we do now we drill I'll give you an example we drill first with the quarter inch then we go back and follow up with this but this we only go about a third of the way through then we flip it and go another third of the way through and then we have a carbide uh, cutter bit that we uh, ream it out with like that go around there and that's the only technique that you can do in a reasonable amount of time otherwise if you try to drill all the way through with that thing you're here for 15 men that's just putting all your weight down on on it and you got to take the drill at a crawl or else you get too much heat on those bits and then they go soft and then they really go dull fast so the whole secret is uh, slow lots of pressure but with us we like I said we're kind of doing some techniques here to kind of get around those uh, those problems so anyway that's what we're doing today and hopefully we'll knock all those out and then we got epoxy like I said those little green inserts in here these uh, oh, they're green insert no not one in that one that, that one but yeah we got epoxy those in and then uh, everywhere and every hole we got epoxy them in so that'll be a, a fun thing not a major challenge but just this is a major, major challenge. We've been doing this for like a week, drilling holes in this, uh, and getting them lined up too, because once we mark them and drill them, and you put it back, some of them are off, and we don't know how, because we marked it straight through all the, all three layers of two by four straight to where the hole is, and we drilled it exactly where that is, and then you put it on, on there, and it's an eighth of an inch off. It's like, how'd that happen? I don't know. But it's happening on every one. There's one or two holes or three holes that's off out of maybe seven holes. So you got to get that carbide cut. The carbide cutter, honey. Carbide cutter. Carbide cutter. Yeah, we need that because that's what we uh, grind with. And that holds up. The carbide holds up on this high speed, uh, on this uh, stainless this uh, 316 but this is a little carbide cutter thing yeah, I don't know if you can see the deal there but it's a uh, this cost I think 800 pesos for this thing but but this is the only thing that keeps that can maintain an edge and that's what we uh, ream out the hole with after drilling it with all these other drill bits so anyway you'll see this later I only got one hand I can't pull this I pull that cap off Yeah, here, this is the carbide 
cut, cut and we got the rounded in here because you can actually almost drill with this it's not good for drill drilling but you can drill and we also label these ones here because like i showed you before this is number one it's got one indentation there that's got on the other side of that that's number two that's number three this is number four so each of these little blocks we number and we put a little we take this drill bit and put one right there or two or two three or four whatever uh is the appropriate one that it matches up with where there's one hole it's not a big deal but where there's more than one hole you have to match up because every set of holes is unique so we will be back with more building the paradise trimaran bye for now what we're doing today we've uh you know i've epoxied all the little green plastic tubes the waterproofing tubes inside of here because like i said i can't waterproof inside there uh so we epoxied green uh, little tubes inside of here and uh, but some of the epoxy gets in the way of the bolt so that's what we're doing now we're testing all these holes to make sure that these bolts slide in and out of here through here easily a couple of these didn't because there's just a little bump of epoxy so I take my little handy dandy cheap uh, drill with my 3 8 bit and I just kind of just slide it in and back out and take all the little bumps out and then then these things go smoothly through here every one of them now is doing good uh, so yeah so we checked them all out this one's a little snug. This one's not. This one. I'll bring, bring this one here slightly. Some too. This one needs a little bit of work. There, I'll do that one. A little bit more. Let's check this one here. Yeah, this one's fine. So, this one here, you can go and kind of see where it's rubbing. It's just barely dragon but still I'm going to open it up because when you're putting these together in the ocean you want it, things to just go really smooth and then we check this one here this one's really smooth and this one here this one's really smooth and then next thing we're going to do we'll put the iron or, I'm sorry iron stainless steel on and make sure these holes still line up because uh, they may not so we got to check all that and we may have to ream these guys out some more with my carbide cutting you just ream it out a little bit larger or maybe just on one side left or right or top or bottom what have you just to get everything lined up so when when we do assemble these uh it's easy to do so we are going to do that and we'll be back with more for my paradise on Italian island we're getting all the holes lined up bye for now hey everybody all right, I know you see this wood here, but ignore this wood. This is mahogany two by twos that we're gonna to use to do the net between these. But the important thing that we got done today, we got all of our cross bracing uh, stainless steel sport brackets done. They're all drilled out and everything fits nicely. So you watch this. Well, it's not clamped, so it's not gonna slide good because these, these should be flat and I don't have a clamp. See that clamp right there? That's what I use to get them all straight and everything but yeah so anyway all the holes line up everywhere we got a little single these are serves the, the these keep the nuts from crushing the wood so you got a big stainless steel plate here and this here is just strengthening so this two by four and that two by four hopefully will never break and the other side is the same thing of course and you can see this stainless steel goes all the way from here all the way through here through that hole out there over there and into the center of that one there and then from the center over there likewise with this so we got sandwiched three sixteenths three sixteenths inch thick three sixteen uh grade stainless steel same thing here we got stainless steel going from all the way from here all the way across through that side over there through that side into the center of that one there and on the back we got this going from this outer side of the hole across here spanning over there just to sandwich these three two by four this is uh, mahogany mahogany no this is mahogany this is mahogany this is um 
Loire on. And someday I may put mahogany in there if I think I need it, but with the stainless steel, we're pretty sturdy. Uh, so they're all done. Everything's done stainless steel wise. We're done. I mean, we're going to polish this somehow, either grind it and make it a little more shiny. This is just a light little grind here, and you see how it shines. This is the factory uh, finish here, but it's just rough. But you shine it up, and this will just sparkle. I mean, this will look like chrome if you polish it. There's a propeller shop right down the road from us, and uh, we may have them see if they can polish this mirror like quality but the other thing we got here see this here these mahogany runners we tried to straighten them out but they're really bowed but now we're thinking well bowed's good because it's going to kind of fit the curve of the boat with the nets so anyway the nets are going to be between here there and there the net will be going across here and from down there to down here and this is removable so when we're not running around using this net it'll just lift off it's just two by two so it's very light and fish net so it's very light we'll just take that and put that in the house uh to keep it out of the sun so the sun don't burn it up and shorten its life span i so was wondering if this mahogany would hold me so i in the center of this just pushed myself up did like a push-up on that and just bounce myself and the mahogany held up and that's just one but obviously we have two here so the weight will be distributed across these two and if it breaks it breaks but i don't think it will and we're going to epoxy uh these and paint them so the epoxy will give it a little extra strength and the paint of course just makes it look better so anyway that's what we've got done today is drilling these bad boys and adjusting all the holes uh, because like I said this hole has to line up with this one's 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 hole and this one's hole and that one and that one they all have to line up so everything has to be so when it's clamped in you can just slide the bolts through put the nuts on and you're connected and then of course you take that clamp off but it's kind of a plasticky clamp here so it's kind of salt water resistant for the most part so i'm going to keep that with me when i'm uh you know connecting the boats the holes and so anyway that's where we're at today tomorrow we're going to work on the nets what else are we going to work on now yeah, cover the, the two holes on the... cover the pole holes the two holes the oh the the front bow of these outer holes we got this plywood here and it's almost shaped correctly it's got that kind of a v shape and we're going to cut it somewhere out at that end and use a section of that i got two of them one is under the other the one and they'll fit this here from that where that's cut all the way back uh, inside of these guys and all the way back it'll flush up here so it'll be a flat piece there i also have to put my cleats on which I, honey, where'd my cleats go? My cleats. Honey, we brought, we brought my cleats, right? Yes. Where are they? Okay. Well, grab a cleat. Yeah, so, anyway, I've got cleats here. See these bad boys here? And these are the bolts I plan to use, some stainless steel bolts. But I'll put a cleat basically on top of that right there and then I'll support it because that's only uh, 3 8 inch thick plywood and then I'll put a 2 by 4 under it so this will or some thickness of wood that this bolt will go through and still keep this from getting ripped out if it's just on plywood and you anchor to it it'll rip it out in a storm or some, something and of course we don't want anything to rip out <laughs> any kind of a storm Back here at the back, I'm not sure where I'm going to put a cleat, but i got to put a cleat somewhere. i got about a dozen of these. These are, uh, they said 316 stainless, but they're magnetic, so they're really 304 uh, stainless. But still, should be a good uh, good enough grade of steel for the ocean. These bolts are 304s. Also, they're magnetic slightly, just like this is slightly magnetic, but those strips is 316. That is not magnetic at all. So, i got to figure out a way, too, to get up here at the nose of this thing because you got to reach up in here i put another cleat on this one but a real skinny person 
I'm not naming names, is going to have to lay on her side and reach up in here and hold a ratchet or something uh, while we screw this in. And, and also we're going to have to put another 2x4 under here, although this is 2, this is 3 fourths of an inch. No, it's not. Here it is, 3 fourths. It's 3 eighths and 3 eighths. So there's a 3 fourths of an inch plywood epoxied. There's an epoxy layer between here, so this is really strong, but I'm still going to put a 2x4 block under there. Uh, just because anchors have to hold. They can never, ever, ever, ever rip out. That's bad news. Your boat floats away. You don't know where your boat is. Or it smashes into the shore and cracks everything up. Same thing back here. I'm going to have to put one here uh, that doesn't interfere with the... Of course, this does because I got this screw on here, but if the screw wasn't on there, it wouldn't inter inter interfere with the rudder and of course the rudder will never go it'll go this far well yeah it could do like a 90 degree turn from here to here 90 almost 90 so it, it would maybe maybe not interfere who knows but anyway that's not the plan it can the road too can go from here this thing's not lined up right it should go from here and go here and go here yeah so the it would only move this this side here this arc here so this is the way it would move back and forth it would never cross over to the opposite side see you you, you have your full range between the two of these so yeah so this bad boy will go here and will not interfere with the rudder and then on the other hole I'd like to put them on there too, but I don't know where to put them, so I gotta figure that one out. Cause we got a uh, two by four thickness here. This is a two by four, which I mean, you can see where we put it here and bolt through there. But the problem is, it's kind of too long, and, and aesthetically, I don't think it works. It might work here. It might work there. One there, maybe one there. I could also hang a lath or rope on there and hang it down here so you could step on a lath better and get to your steps easier, which might work out really cool. I might do that. That looks good, in fact. Stylish. So you put one here and one right there. It wouldn't be in the way. You could still sit here. You could even hold on to this if you had to, uh, if you're rocking and rolling, and sit back, back here. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for the help, guys. We've solved the cleat issue. Alrighty. Yeah, because right here... Well, let me see. Have we solved it? Yeah. Yeah, I've got enough distance between here and here. This is this is a 2 by 4 thickness here. And then this is uh, two, three 2 by 4s here. So between here and here, I can mount that cleat. I can drill down through here. This And this is 2 by 4 so it ain't going nowhere it ain't going to rip out and i'll have one on each side for the uh also that like i said that also help with the lat hut or rope i'll have a rope going down and then some boards going across or stainless steel going across so when you're in the water and you want to get up you don't have to, to jump drag your foot all the way up on there you can just start stepping right here one or two steps will be fine all right so that with that, we're wrapping up for the day. It is now five after five, and that's time to roll, because the mosquitoes come out, and they start biting my legs, man. They, they start biting me everywhere. In fact, I got a bite right there right now. So right at five-ish, it's time to hit it for the mosquitoes just carry you away. So we've been doing good all day, and yesterday and the day before, uh, or yesterday and the day before, or yesterday, the day before was Sunday, so we didn't work then. We uh, went, uh, I think we had a, went to a uh, resort and with a water slide and a, and a DJ and like three pools and all kinds of stuff. It was a really cool place. Really clean too, not beautiful dressing rooms. I mean, when you want to change into your swimsuit, you could go in, in there and it looked like, I mean, you're in a, like a first class five star hotel in a little dressing room you know, in the, bathrooms you know change into your bathing suit they had a shower in there private 
private dressing room, private shower. We had like about six or eight or ten of them for everybody there. So it was cool. So we will be back with more from my parents on the timeline. And tomorrow's trampolines, baby. Bye for now.